Hey guys, after I posted a picture of the cinnamon crunch snack that I came up with, I had a ton of requests for the recipe, so I thought I'd do a quick video mm -hmm. on how to do it. Um, we just finished up a cooking class and had everything out, so I figured we'll just whip together a short video and show you guys how to put this yummy snack together. So there's really only four ingredients to this. You got pork rinds, um, I use Lakanto sweetener, um, cinnamon, and butter, which is in the microwave. If you'll grab it for me, melted butter. So I am going to measure out, you know, I don't make a ton of these at a time because if I make a ton of them, I will eat the, the whole bag. So I make maybe two, two to three portions at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to weigh out my pork rinds and you can estimate this if you want to. I just choose to weigh it out because I can tell on the back of the bag that the serving size is a half an ounce and, or 14 grams and so I can figure out how much I eat of it and how much the carb count and protein and all that fun stuff is. So I'm going to weigh out, um, I'm going to do two servings, so about, um, or three, about an ounce and a half of pork rinds. So, I'm going to zero out my scale here, turn it on, and put my bowl on, and I'm going to zero this out, and then I'm going to weigh out about an ounce and a half, which should be probably the rest of this. Yep. That's, that was good. Okay. So, I have about an ounce and a half of pork rinds here. I use, I don't, I'm not picky about the pork rinds I use. I have my favorites. Um, I like Max, which you can get at pretty much any store, Walmart or whatever. This is my all time favorite pork rind and you can get it at Aldi. It's their brand and it's like 79 or 69 cents a bag. Um, I bu typically buy them by the, by the case and keep them in the pantry because we eat them all the time. Mm -hmm. So um, use whatever pork rind you like. You don't want them super salty. These are pretty um, mild in the salt arena. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and we're going to break these up into smaller pieces. If you have some big ones, you want to break them up. These actually, like this one right here, we'll break them in half. You just want them kind of bite-sized. Um, these all look pretty good. So you want kind of bite-sized pieces. It's okay if there's a couple bigger ones. They're all going to bake in the oven, so they'll get all yummy. If you have them that are kind of curled up, kind of break them apart where they're not curled up so um, all the toppings we put on them can get into the little crevices. So, okay, those look good. So now I'm going to mix together the cinnamon sugar part of this or cinnamon sweetener topping that's going to go on this. Okay, so I'm going to... It's about a tablespoon and a half of... Lakanto. I'm using the golden Lakanto. You can use the classic. It's a granulated sweetener. It's a monk fruit urethritol blend. It tastes just like sugar. It's my sweetener of choice. We use Lakanto and Pure. Mm -hmm. I do not have any affiliation with Lakanto. I just love their stuff. Um, I've used a lot of sweeteners and I've narrowed it down to two, Pure and the Lakanto product. So that's what I use. If you have something else or another favorite sweetener, um, this is a one-to-one -one sweetener, so you can use it as long as it's a one-to-one -one sweetener. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to use about a half, about three quarters of a teaspoon of cinnamon, of ground cinnamon. So when Paige, Paige actually likes these. She's nine and she's a carb lover. And um, she likes some really cinnamony. So, if you make them the first time and you prefer more cinnamon, then you can add some more cinnamon next time. Easy enough. Okay, so that's all I have about three tablespoons of butter here, melted. And I'm gonna toss them on, I'm gonna pour it on my pork rinds. It's about two and a half to three tablespoons of butter. And you're just going to toss them around. You want them coated good. They're going to jump out of the bowl everywhere. But you just want them coated. Okay. So they're all coated. Now we're going to sprinkle our cinnamon sugar on. 
And I do a little bit at a time, like do maybe half and kind of toss it around a little bit. And you don't want these to jump everywhere, just use a bigger bowl. This is what I had, because I just use all my bowls for our cooking class, so this is what it is today. All right, and then I sprinkle a little bit more on. Toss it some more. You just want them to be really coated, because when they cook in the oven, the sweetener is gonna caramelize and get, delicious. get deliciously crispy. So you want like a good coating of sweetener on everything. Okay, so this is what I do. Put it on here. I reserve, I just keep tossing. I reserve a little bit of sweetener and the cinnamon mixture out. You're gonna dump them on a pan, on a sheet pan. And you're gonna scrape out all this yummy stuff that's in the bottom of the bowl and kind of drizzle it over the top. Okay, and you're gonna spread these out. So this is what you got. Okay, so this is what I do. I kind of spread them all out. If you like like Buenuelos or cinnamon twists, that's kind of what inspired this is are the cinnamon twists. Um, Page from Taco Bell, Paige liked them. And I was like, hmm. And my mom makes the most incredible cinnamon toast ever. And I make it for Paige sometimes and I smell it. And I'm like, ooh, something cinnamony, like toasty would be so like good. Like I'm craving this right now. Yeah. This satisfies my craving for cinnamon toast mm -hmm. um, or anything like that. So now what I do, these are all kind of spread out. I take the remaining and I kind of dust it where I have some spots that didn't get any necessarily so they have a good coating when they go in the oven so um, Lakanto sweetener the reason I like it is because it doesn't have any aftertaste and you can stick your finger in this lick it stick it in that bag and it would you swear you're eating sugar so that's why I like it I've tried other sweeteners I don't care for them so this is what we just go with all right, so you're ready to go. This goes in the oven. It's gonna go in for about 10 minutes, seven to 10 minutes. Keep an eye on them so they don't burn. Um, 350 for seven to 10 minutes and they'll be super yummy. Okay, these are out of the oven. This took maybe seven to 10 minutes. You wanna stir them probably halfway through. Keep an eye on them because um, they will burn if you lose track of them. So we're gonna let them cool here for a few minutes and then they'll be ready to chow down on. Okay, these are pretty much cooled off. Like that. And they're super delicious. Look, my god. Delicious. Look, look it. Look it. <laughs> this is just like cinnamon twist. When way low slash cinnamon toast, cinnamon toast crunchish. Speaking of cinnamon, cinnamon toast, toast crunch, crunch. <laughs> we thought hmm. we we have not tried it with milk. We have yet to try like it a with cereal milk. or, like or this almond milk. This has potential to be life changing. It's a life changing cereal. You get you have to break them up. Cause you don't so, want like a huge pork rind. I'm gonna take some, or we're gonna take some. So we're gonna try it. We've not milk. done this. Oh, no. We're gonna try it with some almond milk. But we've been wanting to, cause I've been craving cereal lately and haven't. We miss cold cereal. Maddie and I both love uh, cold cereal, and so, so one thing we miss on keto or a low carb, you know, low carb is I'd that. I say that's good. Yeah, is we don't. You know, we'll make granola, but as far as like a cold cereal that's not granola, we just don't eat it and we love light is life changing yeah i'm so excited like right this now. is going to be a revolution all wrong but so right okay. oh yeah those are <laughs> the great thing about this is after these are cooked they're kind of caramely on the outside and they've kind of crystallized so your milk's not going to soak in and make these soggy they're going to stay crispy which is which I kind of like when they get so, soggy. Yeah, but if they get a little soggy, that's always good, but. It's good, isn't it? It's good. 
Don't be making your own cinnamon toast crunch. Don't be making your own cereal with almond flour and mm. coconut flour and rolling it out and making it and it tastes like junk. Go eat a pork rind. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I make <can't> fry, y'all. <laughs> I, uh, I haven't had cold cereal. <laughs> and over, I'm like tearing up. <laughs> and over, this is so like <laughs> two years. I can't believe I cried over this. <laughs> Look. <laughs> We're both tearing up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Let's pull ourselves together. We're crying over cereal. <laughs> We're crying over cereal and milk. But we, seriously, we haven't had milk and cereal in this in that long. And this is literally like game changing. Game changing. If you like cold cereal, you have to try this. I promise you will not taste the pork rind. I promise. Mm -hmm. Cook them in the oven. Super easy. It literally takes less than 15 minutes to put together. You can make a big batch. You can cut it in half. You can double it. So if you do want to eat it for cereal, you can. It makes an amazing snack. And the best thing about this is it's zero carbs. After you take out the sugar alcohol from the Lakanto, zero carb cereal. Y'all, game changer. Like, tears to your eyes, game changer. I promise. Make this, enjoy it, let us know how you like it, leave us some comments, tell us what you think. Mm -hmm. You gotta try it with some almond milk. That's gonna be a new breakfast. Yeah. That's okay. gonna be, ooh, this may be my new movie snack. Right, pack it in my purse mm -hmm. and take it to the movie. So, um, you can cut it in half, double it up, whatever you need to do. Um, store it in an airtight container or a Ziploc bag. It'll stay good on the counter for at least three or four days. Um, and enjoy. Let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.